we're Melbourne Surge, we're at the Mel Montreal Ad Games, and you're watching Pink Planet. We're representing Belgium here at the Out Games in Montreal, and you're watching Pink Planet. This is Eric, Montreal Out Games, and you're watching Pink Planet. Hey everybody, we are at the center of all the action of one of the biggest gay and lesbian sporting events in the world. I'm Bill Mantis, and in this edition of Pink Planet, we explore the very first World Out Games in Montreal. Montreal hosted the 1976 Olympic Games and has been a gay-friendly hotspot for years making it the perfect city for an international sporting event dedicated to gay and lesbian athletics. The Out Games is really human rights, culture and sport together which makes it very unique. Um, the reason the human rights is so significant, our event is targeted primarily to the LGBT community mm -hmm. but it's open to all, there's no gay test at the door. But the whole point is to play together, to talk together, to raise a level of discussion about issues like why is sport so homophobic still in 2006, but also for bigger social change. Why is it that there's still over 75 countries in the world where it's illegal to be gay and seven countries where you can still be executed for being gay or lesbian? So all of those things kind of converge for 11 days at what we call the Out Games. Part of a gay sporting team in Cyprus? None whatsoever. It's a very closeted society, very homophobic, very traditional. What's it like for you to be here now? It's fabulous. It's, it's amazing. I'm a wonderful atmosphere. The best part is not only the support from your fellow gay and lesbian friends, but also the, the straight community. The whole city is welcoming us, which is so different from what I'm used to. This is the place we can play as we are. We don't have to be uh, nervous or uh, with the uh, heteros. And this is atmosphere here in gay games. Uh, art games are always so funny and uh, uh, relaxed. You hear that? It is absolutely crazy. We are on the ground floor of the Olympic Stadium here in Montreal. Minutes before the opening ceremonies of the Out Games begin, these are the athletes who are getting ready to take the stage. And let me show you the crowds. Tens of thousands of people from around the world. How much work went into planning the opening ceremonies at the Out Games? Well, how much work we started to, uh, to plan at the end of April. And um, now, today we have a crew of 250 uh, persons on the set. I officially declare the first World Out Games Montreal 2006 open! How does it feel to be a part of this? Uh, it's fantastic. It's great to see the community coming together. Uh, it's important for all the gays and lesbians, I think, to. Uh, communicate with each other, get together, uh, share problems, share solutions, and uh, form alliances that they can take home back to their community and make a difference in the long run. Amazing energy backstage here at the Olympic Stadium in Montreal. These are all the athletes that are preparing to hit the field as part of the opening ceremonies. But we're heading over to this trailer right here to interview one of the headlining stars. by backstage here. They're all really pumped. There's thousands of them in there. Yeah. Uh, I, did you ever think about the massive crowd there that's just dying to hear you perform? Um, yeah, it, <laughs> and if I think about it too much, I might not go on the stage. <laughs> It's really, really 
um, exhilarating, you know, the feeling of going out there and performing, you know, to 40,000 people who are who are really excited about the yeah. games and the and and um, and uh, all the events that are going to be happening this week. You're watching Pink Planet from the opening ceremonies from the very first out games in Montreal. We're pausing for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. When we come back, the games begin. Probably a second and a half uh, over the Olympic record. And the competition heats up. This is just as tough playing a game team as well as straight team. This is just as tough. Win a trip for just a few pennies. Pink Planet is offering a bunch of holiday packages for two. Just text TRIP to 100-100. Place your bid. The lowest bid that no one else has wins the trip. More details at www.pinkplanet.tv. Remember, bid low. Suomesta ollaan Out Gamesissa ja te katsotte Pink Planet. Kierrätte Lukas, Kipro, Imedosto Montreal ja to Out Games, ja vlepete to Pink Planet Tileorasi. At the Out Games in Montreal, you're watching Pink Planet. With the opening ceremonies complete, the first day of competition begins. With 33 different sports, we've got a lot of ground to cover. So we're off to the races, literally, at track and field. How real is the competition? Very high. Yeah? Very high, yeah. We're probably a second and a half uh, over the Olympic record. So, on a 100 meter, yeah. it's very fast. So, how much work went into preparing for these games? Um, I train as a master's athlete, so I run the US track and field circuit all through the year, so I do indoor, outdoor, so probably about 10 months. 10 months of yeah. daily serious training? Three days a week, so for those 10 months. Yeah. yeah, so. What do you say to people who say, oh, these are gay games, they're not real games. How real is the competition? That I, I, really upsets me when they say the, that's implying it, that they're fake games. So it's the Summer Olympics, the out games, the gay games, whatever. But call it what it is, and uh, we're, we're real athletes, and. Um, and, uh, you know, do what we can. How does it feel to be part of a, a gay and lesbian sporting event? Well, it's my first, actually, because I've never been at this kind of game. But it's really something, like, uh, it's great to, uh, to, like, you know, uh, how do you say that? To um, celebrate uh, the difference, because that's the... Uh, what's the... <laughs> I don't know the words. Um, that's the main theme of the, of the competition, and that's nice. The pool was also the scene of some serious competition as the water polo teams fight for a spot on the podium. I was actually playing for a straight team in Melbourne, not even what? realizing. Yeah, I know. What? I know. Uh, I didn't realize there was a gay team, and then I found them and went, oh my god, this sport can be fabulous as well. So I hooked up with them after that. Difference between gay competitions and straight competitions? No difference. No. This is just as tough playing a game team as you are a straight team. This is just as tough. Do you realize when you're doing what you do that you are helping to break stereotypes to some degree? Yes, no, I'd say more serious. With, with the ruggedness of uh, water polo, yes, it is a real tough, it's not for the light heart, faint hearted. It is a tough game. Yeah, we are seriously breaking barriers. In this straight comp we play in, in uh, Melbourne, Victoria, they sit there and say, yeah, we guys, we play as tough as they do. They respect us for it. And it's not a, it's not a girls game. Well, even though ladies do play, it's, it's not a light, light game. It's a hard, go get them game. Yeah. We also reinforce the really good stereotypes about being gay that um, should be you know, enjoyed and the rest of it. So our team all get along really well. We go out together. We have fun no matter what we do. And those are, are stereotypes about gay culture that we reinforce. Meanwhile, spectators catch the spirit of the games as things heat up on the ice. We watched all four of you uh, compete and you were so supportive and friendly and warm towards each other. Is that kind of encapsulate the spirit of these games? 
I think so. I think so. I hope so. I do too, yeah. actually. We actually came in knowing each other from other skating yeah. competitions, but we've really bonded much more strongly here than at the other ones. Is it a difficult decision to participate in the Out Games because you are putting yourself out there, basically, as an athlete? Absolutely not. Not for me. No, not at all. Figure skating. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs>I think these games are taking us one step closer to a world where athletes do not have to hide their sexuality. I, hope so. I think so. I think so. And uh, I think we need to see more of this because it is actually showing that the gays are everywhere. It doesn't matter race. It doesn't matter yeah. sexual preference. It doesn't matter any, any thought. We should all be able to do sport yes. together. And we're all equals out there on the ice. No matter what walk of life you come from, anything. When you step out there, you're all just a skater, and it's very liberating, and it's also very wonderful, and there's a lot of support, especially here, for all right. the athletes to just really go out there and have a great time and perform well. You're watching Pink Planet in Montreal for the very first World Out Games. Time for a short break. We're back with more right after this. When we come back, the competition gets fierce on the dance floor. Two people of the same sex dancing together. Yeah. And lots of people might have a problem with it. And we feel the burn at bodybuilding. <laughs> Rock solid like it this. Is, I tell you. It looks like he has guys like me for breakfast. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. We're looking for Pink Planet reports from all over the world. Just visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member, and record a video blog. Watch for yourself in upcoming episodes. You're watching Pink Planet from Montreal, Canada. <laughs> I'm working on my French. Hey, it's Alexander at the Yacht Games here in Montreal, and you're watching Pink Planet. Здравствуйте. Мы баскетбольной команды из России, Омега, специально для Pink Planet from Russia with love. The Out Games includes all those traditional sports we all know, like running, jumping and wrestling, as well as very non-traditional sports like this one right here. This is dance sport, and it's one of the most popular competitions at the Games. Dance sport and figure skating are the only two sports here where clearly there are gay couples, lesbian couples dancing, performing together. Yeah. You know, if you go and swim or you run, well, you know, who's to say whether you're of the same sex, you know, it's, it, with, with us it's obvious that it's a uh, same sex experience, so. It visually it's very obvious because you have two people of the same sex dancing together. Yeah. And lots of people might have a problem with it, but to me it's like two people dancing together, expressing themselves within the music and I think that's important you know it doesn't matter who you are you know it's dancing what we're here for that's why we're here because we love dancing what's it like dancing in with a same-sex partner how different is it or is it any different at all yes it's very different we've both danced with men before and um, enjoy that and it's but it's quite different um, it's got a different feel. Um, when you're dancing with a man, this is not necessarily Noella's, I think it's probably Noella's opinion as well, but she'll tell you. When you're dancing with a man, you feel like a, um, a real princess, because there's the contrast. And when you're dancing with another woman, it's not quite the same contrast, so you need to concentrate on the character of the lead versus the character of the follow, which is a huge challenge. For two girls who were the same size, um, same shape, uh, same height, both very feminine girls, so it's actually quite a ch challenge I absolutely adore. Thank you, couples. All right. We are backstage at perhaps one of the most fascinating competitions of the Out Games. This is the physique competition or bodybuilding, and the competition is pretty intense. What's uh, 
uh, category are you competing in right I'm now? doing the 35 plus and then I'm doing heavyweight. Can we have a closer look at you? <laughs> Will you flex? Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm amazed by the tan and the body. Yeah, unfortunately I have to be brown, otherwise you lose definition. <laughs> How much work goes into looking this way? Um, this time around I only prepped for two months, but normally it takes you about six months to get ready for a show. Six so, months? Yeah. And six months of what though? Of a lot of chicken breast and broccoli. <laughs> chicken breast, broccoli, and you must be lifting some weights Yeah, or no, two. we do weights an hour a day, probably five to six hours a week. And, and then cardio. And cardio as well. When you get into this sport for the first time, it can be a shock for people because the diet, when it gets down to it, you can train all you want, but until you get your body fat down, yeah. it's really hard to see the, the muscle uh, mm -hmm. structure. I have that trouble myself, yeah. actually. Yeah, I'm dreaming about pizzas right now, so it's like, you dream I know about I'm them, I actually <laughs> eat them. <laughs> I'm going to have one tonight, trust me. You should, me. you deserve it. Here we go, will you show me your abs? Oh, yeah. Probably and then not. right in here, these guys are fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of mine? You know, I think I want that pizza. <laughs> Are you a regular bodybuilding competitor? My first time. Your very Competing. first time. Yeah, my very first time. Wow, you look pretty fantastic for Thank a first timer. <laughs> How do you think you're going to do here? Um, I think I got a good chance. You know, fingers crossed. If I had your body, I would be walking around in that bathing suit all the time. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, if you got it, front it. Ask him what his favorite part of his body is. Quelle partie de ton corps est ta préférée? Le haut. Le haut et les, les, les abdos. The top abdos, part? Abdos, abdos dans les sept parties là. The yeah. ass, the abs. Uh, yeah. Second favorite part? Second favorite, uh, the deuxième partie préférée? My second favorite part is my shoulders. What's this? Shoulders. Right? Like <laughs> rock. Rock solid. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you. It looks like he has guys like me for breakfast. <laughs> You're watching Pink Planet in Montreal for the very first World Out Games. Time for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. When we come back, the Russian women's basketball team defies the odds. Uh, it's dangerous just to go hand in hand in streets. And human rights take center stage. It's so easy to focus on the issues in your own country mm. and forget about other countries where the challenges are much greater. We want to hear from you. Share your travel tips with the Pink Planet crew. Visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member, and submit a blog or email. Watch for your comments on upcoming episodes. It's Bernadette here at the Art Games in Montreal and you're watching Pink Planet. I'm sure need a facelift in Montreal and you're watching Pink Planet. I'm Beth and I'm Noella. And we're dancing as part of the Art Games in Montreal. And we'd like to say hello to everybody at the Pink Planet. The first World Out Games in Montreal has brought together thousands of athletes from around the world. But even more amazing than the fierce competition, some of the stories that the athletes shared with us. Despite facing incredible adversity, the Russian women's basketball team defied the odds and attended the games. Why was it important for you to get a team together to come to the games? To come, uh, it's a so great occasion to see, to see the world, to see the people. And the, the most impression for me, for all of us, was uh, um, yesterday, gay parat, uh, we, I, I, I was shocked that it's free is here to have family with children. I, I, I just cried just when I looked yeah. for women uh, with babies. Uh, it's nearly impossible in Russia. I want to, um, for the audience to understand um, how uh, difficult gay life is in Russia. Так, расскажите каждый, насколько трудна жизнь гей жизнь в России. 
Если ты открываешься и говоришь, что ты я, я гей, я лесбиянка, после этого тебе становится трудно работать, трудно жить, трудно ходить просто по улице. Только среди своих можно жить открыто. It's a very great problem uh, with uh, your job, with your communication. Uh, it's a uh, it's семью, impossible uh, to have a family with a girl or a guy to guy. What will you say to everybody when you go back? I love Quebec. Quebec <laughs> <laughs> and Canada. I like Montreal. <laughs> I won't uh, live in Montreal. Yeah. It's, a, it's a free city and uh, she is uh, surprised it's, it's not a crime uh, here to kiss uh, with your girlfriend in the street. Yeah. In Russia you, you, you'll be beat by, by foot if just anybody looks at it. It's, uh, uh, it's dangerous just to go hand in hand by in the street. Combating homophobia was the focus at the Out Games with a huge international conference on human rights providing a platform for voices from around the world. We are one worldwide LGBT family because it's so easy to focus on the issues in your own country and forget about other countries where the challenges are much greater. And we really need to help each other out, especially in countries like Canada and some countries in Western Europe where we've uh, we've largely got equal rights. Mm -hmm. So we have, in a sense, time on our hands. Uh, now it's true, we these rights have to be enforced, and there's still lots of, lots of social problems, lots of homophobia, but we can perhaps devote more of our time and energy and money to helping people in other countries. And that wraps up this edition of Pink Planet from the very first World Out Games in Montreal. I'm Bill Mantis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. For more information about gay life in Montreal, visit www.pinkplanet.tv. How does it feel to be here at the Out Games? Really overwhelmed by all the excitement here. Thank you very much for talking to us and uh, I hope you really enjoy the outings here in Montreal. Bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Rock Voisi et regardez Pink Planet TV.